I suffered severe damage to my hip and my lower back. Nothing um, seemed to work to take care of it. I have seen three orthopedic doctors. I have seen one other chiropractor in reference to it. The only thing they did was make it worse. I came to see Dr. Mingus. I was here with my girlfriend. She was seeing the doctor and we were just hanging out and she talked me into getting a consultation. And five and a half months later, I'm able to walk better. I don't walk with a limp anymore. My back feels so much better than it did before. So far, he's the only one that's been able to help my back and my hip issues. And I believe in what he did so well that I actually came to work for him. So. Um, I first started seeing Dr. Mingus after maybe six months after I moved to Maryland because I was working out with a friend of mine uh, Rich Reiser, who is a patient of Docs as well, and I hurt myself, came in to work the next morning, and had one shoulder way up and didn't even realize it because I was in pain. Doc called, or Rich called Doc, and then uh, set up an appointment for me. Started seeing him for that. He fixed my neck, back to normal, in you know, a couple weeks. It was great. Well, I've worked for Dr. Mingus for four and a half years, and I love to come to work because I know when I come here, he's helping people. He cares about them whether they're here, he still cares about them after they leave this office. And I think that's really important. If we can't help him here, he doesn't keep him here. And if there's conditions he thinks he's, he can help, he's going to go 100% out of his way to make it happen. He's a very ethical doctor. He very much cares about the people who come here and whether or not they get better. And I'd say about 90% of the time, if not more, people see significant improvement quickly. And the people who don't see it quickly either see it in the long run or we find someone who can help them. I had some back and shoulder issues leading up to uh, nationals, I compete in strongman competitions, and nationals in 07 had some back and shoulder issues and started coming and see him on a regular basis to the point where I was actually in here four or five days a week, uh, most of the week, but he kept me healthy, was able to compete in place um, 12th in nationals in 07 and then continue to see him afterwards. Uh, he helped me get my shoulder better, helped me keep my back and neck healthy for all the training I do. I also work as a personal trainer, and um, just that will, on a busy day, that'll beat me up too, just moving everybody's weight, spotting people, that kind of thing. But I primarily see him because my sport that I compete in of strongman is very rough on me, and seeing him keeps me healthy and lets me keep doing it. Uh, fairly injury free. No major injuries, at least no major musculoskeletal and skeletal injuries. Uh, always have some stupid stuff like pulled muscles and I broke a toe in August, but that was not because of any kind of back problems. That was because I wasn't thinking when I went to do something. <laughs> I feel 100% better. I have very, very little pain in my lower back now, and that's only on certain days if I do certain things. Like I can't go out and move furniture or, you know, things of that nature, but just to be able to get up and walk and take care of my daughter, um, take care of my son, you know, go out, play soccer, cheerlead, whatever, with my kids, it, that's something that I couldn't do five months ago. And now I do all of those things for the first time in a very long time. I actually, um, I coached my daughter's, one of my daughter's cheerleading squads this year. And that for me was actually phenomenal because there was no way I would have ever been able to do that before I came, became a patient of Dr. Mingus's. But he's been outstanding, kept me healthy, very, very knowledgeable. I've seen um, three or four other chiropractors in the past starting in college, and none of them were able to really do anything to help me long term like he has. Also, he, I've had several x rays taken in my back by the other chiropractors as well as. Um, doctors and or like medical doctors and uh, he has he found a my L5 vertebrae has a flattened transverse process on the right side which was actually causing my low back pain on the right side which is gone now and has been gone for a while which was the reason I started seeing a chiropractor in college no one ever found that on the x-ray before him so he even sent it to radiologist to get it confirmed and got it sent back so he's very 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 good also as far as the adjustments go He's much better at adjusting. He doesn't just go in and wail on you. He'll, you know, if you don't, can't handle as much, he won't give you as much. 
he'll do whatever's appropriate for each person, and he's very, very good at it. So he's the best chiropractor I've seen. The most common pain we see here is neck and low back pain. Neck and low back. And of that, would you say, out of 10 people, how many do you think he helps? Out of 10 people, I'd say at least 9 out of 10. And I say a lot of it has to do with the mind frame of the person coming in. If you want to get better, you'll get better here, bottom line. I think it's understandable to be skeptical about something you don't know much about or that you've heard false rumor about. And it, it definitely goes with older people usually have a way of thinking about chiropractic. But what I'd say is come in, check it out. Try it once. If you don't like it, don't stay. Um, all chiropractors have a different way about going about what they do. Dr. Mingus is very gentle. <clears throat> um, but I'd say a lot of the rumor that goes around can be proved false. But there's been so many that have said that, you know, without chiropractic care, they would never be able to walk. They wouldn't be able to. One lady told me that she couldn't cross her legs four months ago and she started uh, coming in and now she showed me she can cross her legs and she can sit like that for hours where before she couldn't do it at all. I had one lady tell me that she was able to tie her shoe twice, which she hasn't been able to reach down low enough to tie her shoes in months. And so far she's been able to do it twice. So I mean, it does work. Mm -hmm.